Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to today's data learning talk. So uh, we're very glad today to have uh, Yunfei from Lean2 company uh, in China. So uh, Yunfei today will talk about exploring AI's role in fine art. So uh, Yunfei, the audience is all yours. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chen. And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, today speaking such uh, with with such a talented and esteemed group of scientists. And today I would like to discuss uh, an ex uh, exciting topic that has been uh, on my mind for the last few years. And it's intersection uh, between art and AI. And uh, it's the subject has been um, fascinating me uh, for quite a long time. And I believe uh, uh, this is the area that deserves more attention and exploration. Uh, well, I understand art uh, and fine art may not be the primary focus of many of you, yours. Um, uh, and, for, and for that reason, I have to uh, have something to pre-alert uh, that uh, it's mainly about like, it's not about the stable diffusion or AITC and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's more on the, on the other side of it, it's more about how can we uh, explain uh, art and, hand, and how we, can we uh, analyze art from the, from the point of view uh, as a scientist and uh, artist. So uh, the, today's topic is about, about exploring uh, AI's role in fine art, uh, and I call it explainable art. Uh, on the right hand side is the, 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 the whole structure of my, uh, of my company, uh, it's, it's iArt.ai. So there's three, uh, three roles uh, in this domain, it's art, AI, and the audience or the, or the creators. And there are three ages between them, uh, representing the, uh, the relationships between AI and art, and art and the creator or the audience, and the audience uh, with the, and the, the relationships between uh, the, 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 the human and, the, and AI. And I have to, uh, I have to, a little about me is that I'm, I'm doing art for so long time. Uh, I've been studying art for when I was a kid. I was, uh, when I was four years uh, old, I started to study uh, fine art like sketch, watercolors, and uh, prints, et cetera, et cetera. And I then went to uh, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology uh, to study uh, human computer and interaction, interaction and uh, computer graphics. After that, I went to uh, uh, the Chinese Academy of Art, uh, which is the best university of, uh, of art in China. And, and then I went to UK to study uh, as a PhD student uh, doing computer animation, uh, mainly focusing on uh, fine arts, robotics, and AI. Uh, on the last year of my PhD, I went to Royal Academy of Art. Uh, also doing studies about new media uh, and, and uh, this kind of, uh, in this area. After that, I went back to China and studied this company, uh, uh, studied company, uh, studies this company called iArt.ai. And this, uh, this is a personal blog of me. I have been doing so many things about uh, fine art and use the techniques and science I have been studying in my university. Uh, and I'm also a good, uh, a passionate uh, artist. I do sketches, I do designs, I do oil paintings. Uh, yeah, so you can trust me, even though I'm not that kind of good in AI science, but, but I'm a good artist, so you can trust my taste uh, in, in art. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, at the very beginning, I have to, uh, to, 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 to like uh, define the fine art, even though it's extremely hard to define because uh, fine artist or artist is extremely hated uh, to be defined or to be charged. So I can only tell you the difference between art and fine art. Uh, so art is more like about visually performing or written. The form is uh, the form is more uh, has more freedom. But on the other side, uh, on the other side, uh, fine art is more about painting, sculpturing, and prints. So uh, in th this kind of like a uh, 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 view, like uh, fine art is a subset of art. And art is more um, on the purpose side. Art is more about like practical or functional uh, purpose. 
it's maybe like it's about the social justice, uh, it's about uh, critical thinking, uh, etc. But fine art is more about aesthetic meanings, right? It has, you you look at something, uh, look at some 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 paintings. It gives you certain feelings or uh, or, 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 or expressions of from the artist, and that's that's something we call fine art. Um, but most of the time they are interchangeable, right? Okay. So uh, I have three pictures to to roughly define uh, what is art, what is fine art. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, this is this is fine art. Okay. Uh, the first image is is the well known the masterpiece of Monet, a sunrise impression, and uh, the second one is is about like uh, for forism. It's it's from the I think it's from, oh shit, I forgot. Uh, but but yeah, it's it's also fine art, but it's more in a more uh, abstraction way. Uh, on the right hand side, uh, the the third image uh, is is a uh, is a dog made by uh, made uh, is a is a is a balloon made in shape of uh, of a dog. Uh, it's it's art. It's art. It's something uh, more about expression. It's more about critical thinking. Something like that. So. Uh, yeah, this is rough definition. So uh, yeah, and and when we talk about so why do we uh, uh, what are we talking about here? Like what is explainable fine art, and why do we have to? Leivik. It's white. Uh, the the this image is his masterpiece, white on white, uh, and and in this uh, and he describes his, this his art as the somatism and uh, and this is his description, right? Art is no longer cares to serve uh, the state uh, and religion. It's no longer wish to illustrate the history of manners. It wants to have nothing further to do with object as such. And it believes that it can exist in and for itself without things. That is the time tasted will spring of life. Okay, this is the explanation of, of white on white or uh, somatism, but it's too subjective. It's too sub subjective, and it's, it has so many uh, abstract meanings, right? Even though it's a masterpiece. But it's very hard to people to get there to to know it to understand it. On the right hand side, it's is what I draw um like in, with 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 Chuck. It's white on black. It's rocket science. But as, as far as I know, even though rocket science is a complex in uh project, it has so many details. It's very hard to understand. But still, we can trust it. We can trust every formula on um, uh. Sorry, in its, uh, in its paper, it's in, in every paper, in every formula about rocket science, we can still get there. We, even though we, we know we are hard to understand it, but, but still, it's very clear. It's crystal clear. So how can we explain art like we explain rocket science? This is, uh, this is what I mean by explainable art and why it's so important. Uh, Okay, let's see. Let let's say uh, from the the viewpoint of communication, right? Uh, uh, by definition, fine art is created to invoke emotions, express ideas, or capture beauties uh, or capture beauty, right? So it's it's expression, right? It's one way communication. But on the other hand, you don't get the, there is absence uh, between here between the audience and the artist. The artist has certain uh, purpose that it has certain feelings, ideas to express. The audience see it, and nothing else, and nothing happened after that, right? Let's think like uh, let's think about like the, the 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 communication protocols like TCP/IP, right? You have first hand, a uh, first time handshake. You have second hand uh, handshake. You have third time handshake to make sure uh, we we have agreement, right? But in the in the world of fine art, nothing happened there. Like most of the time, nothing happened there. 
you, you go to see Mona Lisa, right? You go to see the, 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 the masterpiece of, of a certain artist. He wouldn't, he wouldn't sit there and standing uh, aside of his masterpiece to explain why he made it and, and, and why he, he used his brush strokes like, like this, why he used his tool like that and, and what kind of like purpose he want to achieve, right? It's just the art itself saying there. There is no feedback. There is no talking communication uh, for the most of time, right? Uh, the, but if you are going to an art salon, that, that's another, another thing. But, but most of the time, it's like that. So, uh, so from the point of view of communication, there is no, no agreement, right? There is no great agreement. Well, on the artist side, right, that means if there is no feedback, okay, like Van Gogh, for the whole, whole, whole his lifetime, there is no feedback. Right, he, uh, he's even though he made uh, the greatest artist art uh, in the history, but uh, those art didn't make any value in his lifetime. And on the other hand, you may get uh, you may get false feedback because you made art and it it, it went went to a, a auction and sells uh, with a huge price, and that's a strong feedback. But does that mean you? You, your art really have some value and your art, uh, your, your ideas, your expression are really appreciated. No, it doesn't mean like it doesn't go that way. So uh, uh, from the artist side, you, uh, you, you either get no feedbacks or you get like somehow uh, not very correct, uh, correct feedbacks. Well, on the audience side, it's the same, right? It's, it's, it, as, as, as we said, it's too, too hard to understand so for some art, art, art piece, right? Even for, for the, the, the traditional fine art, some of, some of the masterpieces is so hard to understand. Like, like uh, your, most of, uh, most of the, the impressions in the media about the greatest artist is about, it's like this. This is Dali and his uh, answer. I don't know why, even though I like Dali, but, but, but I don't know why he, he has his answer and, and, and have a chill work like this. And, and Pollock uh, and, and his art, he must create art like this. Why? Right? If, if, if it's hard, so art hard to understand. It's, it means like art education is hard, right? If you study, if you study as, a, as an artist, uh, as, as, as an art student or fine art student, it's very hard to understand like which way and which direction you want to go. And it happens, it happens like uh, to, to this kind of question uh, happens to every, I think every uh, fine artist, right? The, 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 masters, the masters are there, but, but, but I don't see uh, which way I, I can go to, uh, to follow their path. And, and from the citizen's view, it's, it's uh, it's even worse, right? Uh, this is called like a public dilemma, public art dilemma, right? Uh, it's also called ban art, saying that like uh, uh, without agreement, uh, there's uh, there's a public art uh, just standing like maybe yesterday it's a it's a it's uh, you are you are chilling in your yard and seeing your street, but the, on the next day. You have a ban art. You have a you have a very abstract. Uh, you have a very subjective, uh, fine art standing in front of the art. So this is them because because this kind of like art has no context behind behind it, right? Uh, there is no one to explain to you uh, why this kind of uh, so the the designs of this public art and uh, why this sculpture is make. In this kind of uh, in this kind of, kind of color in this kind of like material, and it's just standing there, right? It's uh, it's hard to explain, and nobody explain it, and and you don't know why. You don't know why we had we had this kind of thing, stuff in front of your uh, in your neighborhood, right? And from personal view, uh, yeah, uh, as as I'm, I'm as as I said said. Like uh, I've been doing uh, so many uh, years of art and, and AI research. So I, I feel like I have, I have the, uh, a strong feeling that uh, uh, on one hand side, like uh, 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 computer scientists are doing certain things. On, on another hand, uh, the, those great artists like Mondrian 
uh, is doing another thing. But they they have a huge uh, overlap between them. They have uh, they have uh, uh, they have same thoughts. They have certain uh, they have overlapped views uh, between them. So, but uh, but there is few works um, exploring uh, this kind of like uh, 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 field uh, in uh, artistic uh, viewpoint. Uh, even though they, we have we have computer graphics. Uh, we have like a stable stable diffuse. Uh, we have AIGCs, but they uh, it's not from the the view viewpoint of artists. So uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna list some 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 cases uh, about uh, some AI research I I really appreciate, uh, which is uh, the 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 uh, which the chain of thought of of those kind of works are uh, 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 really like uh, the 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 way artistic think about uh, how to observe how to create okay so 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 imagine imagine like we have our artist standing in front of like uh, uh, his masterpiece uh, and explaining to the audience so this would be the the, the uh, a real communication uh, i expected uh, i expect so uh, you can talk to the artist and the artist will point to the to the to the art piece and and I'll show you uh, what it uh, what it's about and explaining to you not only uh, for, uh, convey his his information from the art piece but also communication uh, communicate with you uh, in uh, in language. Uh, this is uh, I, I I tried on on this, on this board uh, in the mid journey like imagine uh, Van Gogh explaining. His artwork to us, and this is the the the, the generated uh, image, and this is like uh, this is this is what I what I expected, and I hope this is the the uh, most of the uh, fine artists expected. And okay, so but yeah, we we can expect like uh, every artist to expand uh, uh, their 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 art uh, uh, by themselves because. Uh, because uh, because most of because uh, uh, some of them are long gone and and it's like a masterpiece without like open source right you you see a uh, project is very good and and uh, it's uh, it's a great work but, but they never that they, they will never open their source they will no, never open their weight and the code so that's how it does it, uh, how it feels like uh, for for some uh, artistic uh, research okay so yeah so that's that's basically the challenges of 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 uh, the the challenges and uh, of un understanding fine art and the importance of it um yeah and but on the, on the other hand it's very hard it's very easy to explain some art in a, uh in a computer science way uh, i will give you some examples well this is chinese painting like the uh, uh, there are so many Chinese paintings. I like this. Uh, this is made. Uh, this is made in a very. Uh, the uh, things is uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, it's uh, uh, the Chinese uh, Chinese art uh, in its own in its own form. It's a very uh, the, the the height is 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 short, but but the width is very very long because it's uh, the. The way to appreciate it, to look at it, it's it's you standing you standing uh, in front of the of the painting, and you go from left to right, and working and uh, and and appreciate uh, those kind of work. This is how we 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 view uh, or how how we read a, a Chinese painting. So most of the, uh, most of the the Chinese painting are like this, uh, but but. Uh, what's the what's the composition? What's the, the, the composition? How how the Chinese painting artist uh, composed such a long view, right? Uh, I was also I was so confused when I was a kid, but but when I studied the computer science, I I get this. I I read it in the in the Chinese artistic studies. It's called like. Uh, uh, it, it has its own explanation. It's called Quang Guan. It's called like uh, it's mainly uh, mainly talking about like someone standing very very uh, 
uh, very in a, in a mountain, in a mountain like uh, very very far from the from the from the scene you want to depict uh, depict, and uh, yeah, that that's called like Kuang Guan. But actually, it's it's very easy for 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 computer scientists to, to understand it. It's basically image stitching. So that that that's it. You have a lot of views, right? You have a lot of views. Uh, you have a lot of viewpoints, and you stitching them together, you get the compositional way of uh, of Chinese painting, right? That's that's crystal crystal uh, crystal clear about how Chinese painting are composed. And another example is cubism, right? Cubism is the revolution uh, new approach to represent reality invented around blah blah blah. blah. And and all of this kind of like uh, artistic artistic explanation, Wikipedia and this kind of research are uh, explaining in a very very uh, actually quite a subjective way. But 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 there is work about uh, about about uh, how to explain uh, cubism in a, in a scientific way, in a computer graphic way. On the left hand side, you have a bus relief, right? How do you create such a bus relief? Uh, bus relief. Uh, you go from different view. You go from the view and uh, extract the shell, shallow, shallow features of the of the three D sculpture, and you flat them, and that that's it. And and it's it's extremely like how the artists think about like cubism. What okay with this kind of like language. You will never understand. You will, will never understand the truth of, of cubism. You will not never understand the the thought behind this kind of like uh, uh, this the kind of idea. But with this this like uh, computer graphic paper, you will you will get it. So this is this is what I mean by explainable art. You can uh, explain uh, certain kind of like uh, uh, art style, art thoughts. Uh, or ideas uh, of greatest artists in a computer scientist way. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I will give you more examples. So there are more case studies about it. So for me to explain what is uh, what is explainable art. So art creation is quite simple. If you if you think about the art creation process. In, as an AI scientist, it's basically like a reinforcement learning, right? You have your, this is you, agent is you, and you use your action uh, on your canvas and you get your statements and reward and you keep doing it. It's a, it's a, trajectory, it's a, it's a trajectory of, of, of actions. And uh, it's not, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like uh, painting is like this and even for, uh, for 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 write a book is also like this. You have something we want to express, and you use your word, uh, you word by word you, you 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 write it, and you see your notebook. Your notebook is your environment, and you get your reward and and state, and you following on, right? This is a, it, you can think it like a, this kind of like creation is a reinforcement learning process. So. Uh, yeah. So what makes so what is the goal? Like there is a there is a goal and reward in, in reinforcement learning. So what is the artistic view of of reward or goal? So this is this is the masterpiece of Castle, right? And this is the the, the masterpiece of, of Carl, right? Um, and there is also work that is called called I I I think everybody knows it. Uh, it's called sketch RNN, right? Uh, and it can it can also uh, create sketches like like it, right? So what's this what's this uh, this masterpiece about, right? This is about how can you use minimum steps to represent a cow. That's it. That's it. It's it's an idea rather than uh, rather than an image. And I think the sketch RNN really really uh, represented it even uh, very well, even though it, it, it doesn't it doesn't mention uh, about this masterpiece, uh, mention about Picasso, but use it used a very creative way to doing it, right? Uh, this is the generated, uh, this is the generator, right? This is the RNN, and what is what's what's its loss? 
it's a classifier, right? Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to sketch, uh, you want if you want to use uh, sketch and to sketch a cat, you uh, you make sure that your classifier class the uh, uh, the one hot the one hot uh, to, uh you fix it into the 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 cat cat class uh, into the cat uh, into the class of cat, and then you use your sketch iron to generate uh, sketch uh, sketch step by step. Then you got cat. So so this is very explainable. Yeah, you use uh, this is. And any it it, uh, it demonstrate that uh, this kind of way is it, it, this kind of like idea works, right? Even though uh, Picasso is doing art and sketch AI is about is 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 about like uh, AI scientist, uh, mm -hmm. um, but but they are doing the same stuff. And and you don't have to use uh, language. You don't have to write a book about it. You don't have to say anything else about it. It's crystal clear. It's, you use uh, uh, you use uh, 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 you, use, you use Python to explain uh, art, you know, very well, uh, very well. And there is another work. There is another work uh, called a uh, uh, clean puzzle, uh, thematically aware object sketching. Uh, this is also another work. I put it here to. Uh, they both try to mimic the the uh, the this this kind of like idea or this kind of painting, but. But I put it here to just for comparison. But this work they use a different laws. Uh, they use clip laws, and they use the the uh, the, the shallow features of uh, of clip uh, as laws. But comparing to sketch iron, I uh, comparing to clip uh, clip puzzle, I like this uh, this work better because they use classify instead of this kind of like uh, visually. Uh, uh, a reasonably way to to detect the distance between uh, the the input image and uh, and the house uh, uh, input image and the output. Uh, this is even though uh, it's called a clip puzzle, but it's not the idea of uh, of of Picasso. This this classifier way is more about Picasso because it the Picasso is saying use minimum sketch sketch to uh, to to represent a cow, if you like, if you if you uh, cut uh, his leg, it's not a cow, right? If you cut the 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 the, the hawk, the tail of of the uh, of of it, if you uh, if you just uh, reduce one sketch, it's not a cow. And it is not necessarily a uh, a certain cow, it's just a cow. It's a concept. So. So uh, I think Sketch, sketch Iron did it very well. Um, yeah. And uh, another example is about like uh, Paul Cezanne. Uh, yeah, you can see that that is uh, in the early early stage of like in the early age of of his career, he did artworks like this, and then it's like this. And then it goes through this. So what does it mean? Like for his whole life, what is, what what's he is doing right now? Like uh, what 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 did he do uh, for the for uh, what's his purpose uh, or the 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 idea behind his artworks? For like this is very personal. Okay, this this is based on my personal uh, explanation. But I think it's uh, it's. It's very like the what we do about MAE, right? MAE is like a mask of the autoencoder. It's saying what? It's saying like, it's saying uh, there is a lot of redundancy. There is uh, so much information that we don't need uh, uh, of in the image, right? We can mask uh, like uh, most of them, and still we can reconstruct it. This is uh, what. Uh, uh, what Paul is, uh, what what Cezanne is uh, Cezanne uh, mean by his artwork? It's a basic idea that that there is too many things we don't need. Let's get rid of them. But he and and there is another point that he is not. It's not like master of encoder. What does he keep? Uh, what does he keep? He keep all those all those ages, right? He keep all those ages. And he, because he thinks, because he thinks like those ages keeps more information, 
right? I have those edges, then I can get rid of the rest of it. Because I use this kind of ridge, I can automatically interpolate all this kind of information uh, in the whole image, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, it's not a gas. It's not exactly a gas because there, there is another work uh, called master fit. Uh, also use these kind of like uh, ideas, like instead of like reconstruct uh, those, uh, those uh, uh, the, the, the pixel re reconstructed, it is uh, HOG predictions to reconstruct the, the original image. That means like uh, the age uh, and this this world beats uh, beats down the MAE. Um, it has like more uh, accurate uh, reconstruction. It's basically saying the same thing like uh, what Paul Cezanne has made. Uh, yeah, uh, but but yeah, I, I have no 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 improvement to 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 uh, to uh, about this about this uh, this relation. But it's based on my. Uh, yeah, it's based on my personal explanation. So uh, I I was trying to to do something like this, but, but I, I don't have really have much time about it. But I think this this observation is quite correct, and I I use this case to just to say that there is a lot of things uh, going on. Uh, there is a lot of like uh, common ideas between AI scientists and uh, those artists, and you don't have to 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 go to artists. Uh, go to our course to understand it, because it, it's all about observation and creation. Uh, yeah, so you can you can get it very quickly, I think. Uh, yeah, and 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 another reward is another another experiment is is, uh, is about uh, uh, is about a portrait uh, portrait artist uh, doing uh, his portrait after taking a, a certain drug. Uh, called LSD. Uh, okay, this is the this is the whole process. Like in in the in the uh, after like twenty minutes after he he his first first dose he doing a, a, a sketch a portrait sketch like this, and like after around one hour as uh, he's doing sketch like this, and three and a half an hour after his first dose he's doing art like this. In around three hours, it's about it's something like this. So how do we uh do we do we understand it? Uh there's another work uh, very similar to 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 this one. Uh, it's called like a neural painter. Uh, I, I I think like well, I I think I, I believe most of uh, of you guys have already already know this paper. Uh, it's something uh, it's something about like uh, you use Latin face uh, to depict the 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 uh, the the each stroke, uh, and then you compose every stroke uh, in uh, in your canvas. Uh, on a camera, and then you uh, you calculate the the feature loss uh, between uh, the 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 painted uh, the painted image and the content image. Uh, a, a very important, uh, and you get something like this. And this is very this is like I think it's, this work is uh, is like uh, is is published like six years ago six years ago. Uh, like that, like this. But, but I like it, this work very much. I think it's uh, the 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 correlation between this one, this experiment, and uh, and and this work is that if you if you use higher higher like uh, dimensions of the feature loss, like if you use you, you are use VG, let's say you are using VGG loss, right? You you select like certain layers, uh, like maybe the the, the shallow features or the deeper features. You can you can tell it's just like LSD. It's not uh, just like this experiment, right? If you take if you take like a, a shallow uh, shallow layers features of the VGG uh, and you calculate the loss between them, you get uh, uh, you get a like a, a a painted a painted image like this. Uh, you get a pen, painted image like like a painted image like this. But if you if you like uh, select 
if you select like the higher or deeper uh, layer of the of the VGG, uh, and then you you uh, use its its feature uh, and calcul calculate the loss uh, between the painted image and the content image, you will get something like this. You will get something like this. So so uh, so what's the correlation uh, uh, here? It's mean I think it's like uh, uh, so why we, do we call it reward? Because when we're talking about painting, the reward is different. Like it's very personalized. Uh, personalized. Some kind of like, some people prefer use like, uh, we, let's say I use L1 loss, right? I want to like classic painting. Uh, I, I want to uh, depict exactly what I see uh, on my canvas. And, and, and some people want to make it more uh, abstracted. Right, like this. So their feature, their feature, the features they are used, you can like uh, you can resemble it to to uh, uh, a deep layer feature uh, in VGG. So uh, you can taste it. Like I don't, uh, I don't have a record of it. Like I don't have, uh, I don't save the log of it. But you can try it yourself. It's called Neuro Panther, and and you can try uh, use different feature loss uh, to see yourself. And it's, it's the, the result is very, very interesting. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, so this part is like uh, the, the goal or the reward uh, uh, as, as an artist. Uh, so people, people refer, people, people always like talking about a style, but style is very big. Style is not a purpose. Like people, people artists doing art with different purpose. It's not about all about style. Style is just a, a representation of his goal. So, uh, so when you're talking about like uh, when you're talking about like uh, 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 the style of Picasso, and you use transfer learning, or you I'm sorry, you use like uh, a style transfer to resemble the, the the style of Picasso. That's wrong, because because that's that's not how it goes on. Like uh, 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 because the purpose is, is different. Even though you just, you, you transfer learn it, uh, you, you, use, you use like a, a style transfer uh, very well, but you don't get like the original feelings or meanings of the, that kind of work. Uh, so yeah, so um, yeah. So, so uh, when we're talking about like uh, 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 AIGC or, or style transfer or text to image, you have to be clear that uh, what you want to do? If you if you think as in an artistic way, you you, ha you have to understand what you want to do. Uh, aesthetic is not the real thing. Like uh, aesthetic is not the only thing, uh, but also uh, the means uh, you want to uh, represent. Okay. Uh, so uh, the the next uh, important element, the next important concept of the re uh, from the point of view of reinforcement learning is is uh, is action. Is action okay? So let's go to action. Uh, let's use reinforcement learning to explain art. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, uh, we can see like uh, for these two images. Let's see this two. Let's compare these two two images. Can you tell this? Uh, these two images are all made by Van Gogh. Uh, I'm not sure, but but yeah, but uh, like the the first time I see this image, I. I'm exactly sure that that it's made by Van Gogh. So why why this is made by Van Gogh? But even though I've I have been I've, I didn't see like a lot of like Van Gogh's painting, uh, even uh, especially sketches. But I can tell is this is from Van Gogh. Why? It's it's a sketch, but but it's an oil painting. Uh, so the reason behind that, because I can tell is that uh, as a professional artist, I can tell is that the the action, the trajectory, uh, the trajectory of action is the same, because the purpose is the same, right? Van Gogh is doing something. Uh, Van Gogh has a purpose, uh, no matter what he used. It's a, it's a oil brush, or it's a, it's a, it's a sketch pen. He did the, the same, same thing. He did the like the trajectory of actions are the same. The movement are the same, even though it holds. Uh, he 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 was holding a different pen, but he did it. Uh, but he uh, does it like uh, uh, in in the same in the same way. So 
so this is so this is like uh, this is this is what, what I'm talking about like uh, uh, style. So even though like uh, these two images uh, may uh, if you if you calculate in 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 the, in the grand matrix of of style transfer uh, or L one loss L two loss or VGG loss, you may see the, this two different style. Uh, this this two uh, on the matrix uh, those two images uh, has two different style, but actually. It's, it's it's it shares one same style exactly the same because the actions if you if you calculate the the, the tra trajectory uh, of actions it's the same and um, yeah and another work I'm doing uh, doing it like uh, to 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 explain uh, uh, to 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 dem to demonstrate uh, this kind of like uh, 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 this this idea is that uh, that I did uh, two works about an instance segmentation. Uh, this is the this, this is the uh, train wire. They, this uh, the, this is what what color by uh, made by him. I use I have a lot of like uh, uh, ground truth uh, paintings of him, and so I I train uh, my uh, on my uh, on my auto encoder uh, to to get a soft instance segmentation. Uh, it's something like this. Uh, and the, the second, uh, and the, the the instance segmentation did very well. I think it did down uh, every other method. Uh, this is this is uh, the, the the common process uh, as an art, art uh, researcher. But uh, in that kind of like experiment, one sketch uh, in the test uh, test uh, there is one uh, sketch image in the test uh, data set. Uh, which 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 is sneaking uh, without my notice, and and it did very well, and it did very well. Even though there is no 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 sketch in the in the training data set, but still that that network can can segment uh, those sketches very well. Automatically, it's it's a zero zero shot uh, segmentation. I was I was I was I was shocked by the result, like. Uh, uh, and this work is uh, is is done by I think it's by uh, mobile unit it's, uh, uh, around like uh, six years ago. So at that time, the the uh, that kind of like uh, uh, network uh, don't have uh, much power uh, to overfitting all the kind of like uh, data sets, but still uh, it can uh, segment uh, the strokes very well. And as you can see, yeah. So uh, this is this is what I'm talking about, like. Um, if you segment the Van Gogh uh, brush strokes, uh, use the the brush stroke ground truth data sets, uh, training data sets to segment all all those brush brush strokes, you can like you can you can segment your your his sketch very well. Yeah. So so so, so uh, somehow so this is what I mean by like uh, uh, the the action of trajectory is the same, right? Because the visual representation are the same. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the 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 the, the another. This is the this is the concept of of action. Uh, in the yeah, and 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 the action, the action uh, has another has another uh, has another thing. It's like the primitives. So let's say you do it. If you are if those primitives like uh, are in two D, you can get this kind of stuff, right? You can get like if if those primitives are brush strokes, you can get like paintings like that. If you're training a reinforcement learning uh, project, you can get this. Uh, if it's uh, it's a square, you can get this kind of like uh, uh, more abstract like uh, tape art stuff. And if you are using like uh, uh, if you use if you are using uh, 3D primitives, you can also get like contrastive. Like, uh, you can also have your uh, you can also get like the the counterpart of of artists, uh, this is like uh, 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 this is work by Bridgman. Uh, it's called like George Bridgman. It's the um, uh, he's a teacher and a master of of constructive uh, anatomy uh, anatomy, and his his idea is like uh, for each kind of like complex uh, complex shape shape, we can use simple uh, simple uh, shape three uh, D shapes uh, as primitives to depict. To construct the complex uh, complex sh shape, uh, this is a very similar idea with like uh, like like uh, 
uh, 3D reinforcement learning projects or capture network. So yeah, and and but what's the point of it? Uh, imagine you are explaining explaining your art to an alien, right? They have no idea what a human being means. What, they have no idea uh, what uh, anatomy means. But we share the same language because, like the geometry in the universe, are same, right? You can he can get like what what a cylinder means. He can he can he know what 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 it means by 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 cubic, right? Uh, he means what mean, uh, he he knows what is position, his what is rotation, what is size, right? This is a shared language, right? Like this stroke is actually uh, not very hard, like uh, uh, language to understand, right? This is two D, this is three D. Uh, so so this is more explainable rather than style, rather than uh, uh, rather than stable diffusion, rather than uh, denoising process, right? So uh, and 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 on the AI research side, a lot of people are doing this work, uh, doing uh, use this kind of sort, uh, doing this kind of work uh, in the same uh, not in the same time in uh, in the same way, right? So, but but they don't know each other. Uh, another work I would want to want to share uh, about prim primitives is SDF, right? You use your action and your primitives uh, as SDF. You can resemble uh, a 3D shape like this. Uh, this, this it's called uh, pen by math. Uh, sorry, the I can I can play the video in the in the PPT, so I have to share it on YouTube. Oh, damn it. The VPN is done. Okay. Okay, SDF is a sign distance function. Uh, and and, and it basically you can use a mass function to, to explain uh, a SDF shape. And, and that means you can use mass to, okay. That means you can use uh, a ma um, uh, use a lot of ma math equations to depict a three D shape. Yeah. So, so, so this is more explainable. This is more explainable rather than uh, rather than another rather than uh, natural language or, or other kind of like uh, uh, terms like style or. Or objective uh, means of philosophy. Yeah. Uh, so this is basically uh, well, uh, uh, a brief, a brief uh, introduction, uh, introduction about what I mean by uh, explanation. It's basically uh, how can you explain art uh, in a mathematic or computer scientist way uh, of uh, to to explain art. So. I'm not sure I'm, uh, I'm explaining it well because uh, it's more about the personal experience. But yeah, but, 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 but yeah, but uh, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, let's put it in this way because uh, uh, we have like artists, we have uh, artwork and uh, okay, let's go to, yeah. Uh, hi, Yunfei, I'm sorry to jump in. I was just wondering if you consider to leave several minutes for the audience for uh, potential questions, etc. Oh, sure, so, sure, sure. That's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, in case if you'd like to maybe give a um, like fast overview or a quick conclusion about your talk, and then we can go for audience questions. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, so my conclusion is that like like. Uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah. Nowadays, uh, we 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 all we all excited by by stable diffusion, by new journey, by AI to see. That's great. But we have to think about like uh, we have to we have to uh, uh, observe uh, that we have to dig into uh, the art itself and dig into our artist itself to and and uh, and and go and check uh, to see uh, if the if the AI actually knows uh, what what art means, because it's so so diverse and, and it's not 
uh, it's not a denoising process. Uh, every artist has its uh, personal uh, expre expression to convey and uh, they have their ideas. And it's not, if we are just use text uh, to generate image, uh, we, we are missing the big picture and uh, we are basically throw those advantages of uh, those masters away. So in the future, I think uh, we go not only this way, like uh, I use our AI to create art, but also we have to use like uh, uh, the, the previous AI research, so computer science research to design those arts. Because like uh, uh, there are two groups of people, uh, one of them, uh, one group of them are artists and another part of them, uh, another group of them are scientists. And they, they don't share exactly the same knowledge and but they, they do have a certain source are uh, quite similar. Uh, that's what I'm saying about uh, explainable art. Uh, I hope uh, we can build up a community uh, uh, for for each for those two groups uh, communicate with each other very well and do big things. Uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Yunfei, for the for a nice talk. It is truly very very impressive, and I should say it's quite different and uh, exceptional from the other data learning talks. Actually, I never thought that AI can be so linked to the to the modern arts. Like after just after um, your talk, I recognize that. So for the audience, in case you have any questions, please uh, you can either raise your hands in the Zoom um, application. I will let you to speak that out, or you can also type your questions in the chat, and I will read that out for Yunfei. So I saw there's already some comments. Um, yeah, so people, thank you for your for your nice talk. Um, Thank you. Okay, so now there's no other questions, but I meanwhile, well, actually, I have a couple of questions. So both related to to art and to the to the scientific part. So actually, I very um, I mean, enjoying a lot your um, like your explanation with the work of Paul Cezanne. Not sure if I I pronounced that uh, good, but in a way that you have shown that he's like the work of his early age uh, and also the work of the the late stage. That we can see a clear difference, and he like focuses men on the on the part that separates different objects, etc. So the I would say the most important backbone that in the in the images. So um, here I was wondering, in terms of the utility of your model, or like how um, will be the the final uh, objective. So is that we, we're trying to train some AI model so that we can. For example, take the input uh, for his early stage work and translate somehow uh, to the to the one of of like to the style of his uh, late stage, or is to create something like more creative in a way that the model will be um, capable to um, to create something new, like just learning from this transition from the early stage to late stage work. Oh, that's a good, uh, great question. Um, yeah, for uh, like uh, 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 for me, I think there is like uh, two uh, two topic uh, worth exploring. Uh, the one is uh, from the uh, from the art uh, art research. Is that like uh, uh, let's see, let's see, like because because right now, let's say uh, MAE muscle encoder. Uh, they pick they pick those masks uh, randomly, right? Uh, let's say we use uh, the the idea of Cezanne, uh, uh, and we pick those masks with uh, large areas of of ages. Uh, let's say let's just do a candy age, right? And then we choose the uh, choose the the the, the patches with with uh, longest uh, age, and then we we choose next, and we. Uh, even though we we use the same uh, uh, same patch same 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 number of patches, but I think like uh, we we can reconstruct better uh, with those kind those kind of selection. So uh, in this kind of meaning, uh, like uh, I think uh, yeah, that this this is worth uh, worth exploring. On the other hand, I think uh, uh, on on the other hand, for for a generation. Uh, I think it's quite the same. Uh, if you like, let's say we have a human sketch uh, as an input, 
right? Just like like Zezong. Um, I think we can also use like uh, uh, this kind of like auto encoder state uh, very well uh, with that kind of input. Uh, that's yeah, that's it. So yeah, basically, you mean that maybe we can aim at both objectives, right? So you, at the same time, like translate, but also to be creative. So actually, yeah, I have yeah. a following question about that. So uh, I was wondering if uh, we would like to make this kind of translation. Well, that's what we consider to do that, or have you already started working on that with like a supervised minor or unsupervised minor? Which means, do you consider to give like an input and the output that of almost the same like contents, but just with different styles? Or you somehow would like to use something like self-supervised learning that model will be able to understand the, the there's some like correlation or uh, there's some like similar patterns in these different style of images. Uh, I think would, I would choose like uh, I would choose uh, choose uh, uh, self self-supervised learning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe that can avoid the problem of, of like labeling or the. I mean, it might be difficult to find the input and output for the same contents. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, for... Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I saw there's also a question from the audience uh, from Rakatora So, so I hope that my pronunciation is good. So he said, for now, it looks like we're trying to understand and learn the technique for the artist through machine learning. Do you think we could get into a point where we learn their intentions or understand uh, what triggers emotions to to the audience. Well, that's a wonderful question. Um, uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm I'm not sure. Cause like I think it's like uh, uh, when you're talking about like in a in a level of cognitive way uh, or in a cognitive level, uh, I think that's very personal because because. Uh, okay, uh, I can share a, a metric that I'm uh, that how I uh, appreciate a, a painting, right? Uh, it's the it's the personal uh, it's the personal experience uh, of of the information that I get during uh, during a certain time. So uh, the the assumption is that it's personal. So uh, I don't I don't really uh, and personal uh, if 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 you are talking a personal cognitive uh, like uh, a respond uh, wow that's that's a lot of input there so I'm not sure I'm not sure. Okay, thank you, Yunfei, and thank you, Andrea, for the for the question. Um, so if there's no question from the audience. I think I have one final question. I think it's more like general, but also um, fundamental to me. And so now you're talking about there are three parts, like in these, um, like in these modern arts. Like you have the art, you have the artist, you have also the audience. So how will you place AI like inside these three parts? Do you think like AI is more close to the audience that can help us to interpret like the emotions of the artists? Or is more on the artist side that they will be creative. They will understand um, the emotion of the artist, and they'll be um, like create auto creative themselves to like to create like future uh, modern art uh, piece of works. Uh, for me, I think like uh, they are the same people. Like because uh, because it's a it's a very strong statement. Like saying everyone is artist. Mm -hmm. Right, it's it's a it's a long uh, it's a it's a long long time ago. Uh, there's a strong statement saying like uh, uh, everyone artist because because if you are artist, you it's because it's about expression. If you can use a certain tool to express exp, uh, express your feelings and ideas very well, and uh, then you then you are you are you are an artist, especially when you are uh, you touch the people, you you influence the people, you influence the audience. Uh, then you are an artist. Uh, the way the way the the, the role uh, AI plays here is like uh, to uh, teach people uh, how to to express giving advices uh, like because uh, because you have you have a certain uh, thing certain information to want to express that's the one thing that's your goal and how to express yourself very well that need education and and AI could help I think that's that that's uh, what I'm what I'm expected uh, what I'm expecting uh, from from AI, uh, not exact not only just like generate beautiful image, 
I don't think that's that's that important. That's okay. That's 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 wonderful. But but uh, but art is about uh, expression. So so if AI if AI can share a certain language with people, because right now uh, natural language is not enough. Like maybe maybe uh, as I said, like uh, maybe SVG, maybe SDF, maybe Mass, maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, strokes, uh, inter. Uh, uh, some uh, some language in between can help us, uh, like both AI can, can understand and human can understand. Uh, but we have we uh, we organized it. Okay, yeah, thank you. If I got you, I think you're thinking like one step even further that AI can help people to express like our deep emotion, which is difficult to express using like just languages, right? Yeah, thank yes, you. Yes, thank yes. you for that point. That's very, that's something like leaves us a lot of food to think about. Um, I think it's already yeah. five past five, so uh, I will have to close the meeting. So uh, I'd like to thank you again, Yunfei, for accepting our invitation and for giving such an impressive and nice talk. And I'd like to thank all the audience to uh, for joining us and uh, looking forward to seeing you next week in our data learning talk. Yeah, so uh, thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.